Right now at 8 o'clock, we are on fire watch this morning, tracking several burning across the state, where one has already grown to several hundred acres and destroyed several homes. And unfortunately, our excessive heat warning continues through Saturday. I'll have those forecast details coming up. We began on the fire watch this morning as the heat could make it very difficult for crews fighting different wildfires across Arizona. They have people evacuating or on standby to evacuate in different parts of the state. Two of these fires only about a day old, one near Tucson and one near the small town of San Carlos near Globe, where I believe at least four homes have burned. So let's start in San Carlos, where the flames have spread to a couple of uh, hundred acres. So homes have already been lost and evacuation orders are in effect as of 8 o'clock this morning. Gibby is joining us live there right now with the very latest. So Gibby, how are things going out there? The devastation is just unimaginable. Yeah, good morning, guys. I mean, take a look at this behind me. Look at this. Uh, at least four homes they're telling me here right behind me look at this you could see the water spouting from one of the pipes that broke uh still some some embers and flames left over this is one of the areas that we're at earlier where we said the fire kind of sparked back up and luckily there was a fire crew that was in the area and they were actually able to turn and get that fire out right away but this is what we're seeing here and once we get someone to fly over this we'll start to see the pure devastation. They say we counted four homes here. They're telling us at least 20 total. And we're hoping for an update here shortly uh, on this fire to see what's actually uh, happened overnight. Right now we know there's 500 acres, zero containment, but several homes that were just caught on fire and burned down to the ground. Little is what these families are finding when they're coming to these homes. We saw family members, as you can see, a, a cat that was saved here. Uh, Joseph was telling us that his cat was in the tree just holding on for dear life, waiting for someone to come in. You see that fire sparked up there? That's the home I was just talking about. Luckily, that crew was able to get here and get that fire out. But this is what we've been seeing all morning long, just uh, uh, one home home after the next. We were told that uh, they saw this fire yesterday in the Seven Mile District and actually a helicopter had come down and dropped water at least four times. They thought, okay, the fire's out, but then heavy winds would come in and shifted this fire back and it went all the way to the Peridot area. We are understanding from a neighbor that there's at least 20 homes that are damaged. We're going to try to get that confirmed for you, but I have to tell you, uh, one of the things with the people that we see here coming to these homes, they tell us that at least everyone is okay. I'm just happy our lives are, you know, we're all together. That's the thing that's bound us together as a family. And other than that, the house can be replaced, material things. But what I'm grateful is that we're all together. Yeah, see, being all together is what they have. And right now they're getting together over at the casino uh, to turn around because that is one of the evacuation centers is the casino here, the Golden uh, the Golden Apache Casino, I believe it's called. It's right off. We'll have everything on azfamily.com and AZ Family News app. There's also one in Peridot. It's a community center there where people can meet, get breakfast, get some food. They were without power last night. There are now uh, the power has been restored here in San Carlos, guys. Uh, just devastating when you look at what we see here. Uh, pets are still being looked for. There was one gentleman who had to actually cut his gate to his corral because he had horses. Horses, but there was no way to turn around and take them with him, so he just had to cut the gate and hoping, hoping that those horses found a clear way to get away and are safe now. So uh, as we go through this morning, we're hoping for an update here on the fire and what they plan on doing here today, guys. But it's just sad to see because a lot of these families, unfortunately, can't afford insurance and don't have insurance, oh, especially gosh. for some of these homes and these losses. Mm. So sad to hear that. All right, Gibby, nice job reporting out there. Another fire burning just north of Tucson. This has now burned more than 1,700 acres. A communications tower and power lines threatened, and crews are actively working to keep the fire away from them. The air tankers called in to help yesterday were grounded by high winds. So no evacuations at this time, though.
And we also have an update on a wildfire burning northwest of the valley in Congress. This one has burned a little more than 800 acres, doubling from last night. It's zero percent contained. Firefighters are working in steep, rough terrain, trying to get it under control. Several homeowners in the area have been told to stand by to evacuate if the flames get closer. It's also threatening the railroad tracks and power lines between Wickenburg and Yarnell. All right, so if you live in or around these wildfires, we have a tool on our website. Simply go to azfamily.com. I'm going to walk you through it, take you step by step so you can find all of this information. It's right at a latest click. You just get the information as well as resources to help keep you safe. Go to our home page. As soon as you get there, you scroll down. It's right here at the top under trending, tracking wildfires across Arizona. Double click on that. It'll open this page. This takes you to a database full of information. You'll see the latest video at the top that's showing you what we're bringing you live right here on the air, but then you scroll down a bit more and you can see we have the wildfire tracker with all of the information, including the name of the fire, the status, the location where the fire is burning, when it started, acres containment cause and the last dated uh, updated date of the information. Every fire that is going on throughout Arizona we have right here for you. So all of that information is in one place. It is a very useful to tool and it is accessible via our free Arizona's family news app or just visit azfamily.com. Right now we want to send things over.